Mr. Speaker, there's deep anguish in Canada about the Yanukovych regime in Ukraine and its attacks on human rights and freedoms. Beyond general statements about considering options with respect to Yanukovych, will Canada specifically, one, send official observers to scrutinize what's going on, two, provide expedited visas to any victims who need to leave that country for their own safety, and three, target Yanukovych and his crowd with personal sanctions, asset freezes and travel bans, for example, to push them to stop their anti-democratic behavior. Uh, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, we have been active on this file. I can tell you that the Minister has condemned the killing of, uh, in the strongest possible terms, the killing of protesters by the Ukrainian police force. He has personally spoken to Ukrainian Foreign Minister Leonid Kozara. In addition, the Deputy Minister has called in the Ukrainian Ambassador to express Canada's condemnation of the violence that has occurred. We fully support the efforts by the members from Etobicoke Centre and Selkirk Inlake to bring this here, here. issue forward uh, for an emergency debate in the House of Commons. Here, here. And we're urging the Ukrainian government to find a political solution by engaging in a real dialogue. We stand with the Ukrainian people who courageously continue to speak out in support of democracy. Well, here, here.